One choice, one decision can change your life forever. For New Orleans native Bruce Jordan, that choice was attending a basketball tryout when he was in the fifth grade. I really don't know where would I be. I'd probably be on the corner somewhere right now. Or worse. You know, he's a tough kid because he's had a tough life. You know, time would tell, we found out more. Oh, what, if, what if he did never come to practice? What if he never walked in the gym? I mean, I, I, I really don't know where everything would be. And I'm just glad it happened, I guess. They still run the special where they talk about the top 10 linebacking crews. You got Pittsburgh, you got Lawrence Taylor and his group. You know, you kind of sit there as a person, you think to yourself, oh man, you know, at least we would have been 10 or eight or something like that. The guy says, uh, the number one linebacking core of all time, the New Orleans Saints Dome Patrol. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, us? Hit from behind, and it's knocked loose by Pat Swilling. Just another day at the office for this Saints defense. I don't know if you remember the Dome Patrol, but Pat Swelling and Ricky Jackson, Vaughn Johnson and Sam Mills, those guys, the best of the best in the NFL. There's an all pro level, and then there's this level that these guys play on. They just never stop. And that was one of the best times of my life playing with those guys. And that's the West, Jeremy, right here. Hey, new quarterback here, baby. It's worst nightmare. That was nice, boy. After 20 years in existence without a winning season, the Saints didn't have a losing season for the six years that the Dome Patrol was in the starting lineup. Check us out. Saints are back. The group's crowning achievement was in 1992, when all four linebackers were named to the Pro Bowl. The Dome Patrol was amazing, and Pat was the quick one. A trip to the Pro Bowl became routine for Swilling, who went to Honolulu for five straight seasons. In his seven years in New Orleans, Swilling had 76 and a half sacks. Pat Swilling did it again! You know, people often ask me, where are you from? I said, I'm from New Orleans. Now, people back home may not like that in Tacoa, Georgia, but I love New Orleans and love the people here, and they've loved me back, so that's one reason I'm still here. The Superdome is located in the heart of New Orleans, a constant reminder of the city's beloved saints. It is also walking distance from some of the city's roughest neighborhoods. I grew up in New Orleans, uptown. Yeah, that's a very dangerous part of uh, New Orleans. Most of them was selling drugs, I mean, doing everything bad. And like at one point in time, I thought I had to do it because that's what everybody else was doing. Bruce's life would change when, as a fifth grader, he tried out for an AAU basketball team that was coached by former Saints linebacker Pat Swilling. We were trying out kids at, at one of the local gyms, and Bruce walks in with a, with a pair of Timberlane shoes on. They were unlaced. He had on a pair of jeans that were cut off, and he had on a shirt. I didn't know. I mean, I didn't have any basketball shoes, so I had to wear what I had. Bruce made the team, and the Swillings looked after him on and off the court. We would pick him up, bring him here, make sure he was eating a good meal. Then we started doing homework and just staying on top of everything. And after practice was over, we would take him back home. He would ask, can you get me some chicken? Right. Can you get me something to eat before he got home? I actually knew, had a lot of friends. Most of them probably died um, or either dead or in jail. I mean, that's what they set themselves up for. But I knew I didn't want to do that. When it comes down to Bruce's mother and his family and his grandmother, we always felt they were doing the best that they could do with Bruce. But obviously, there were some things that were missing. You know, he's not in school regularly. Um, He's, he's hungry, he doesn't have the food that he needs, you know, those kind of things. 
we just always felt that if we can help, if there's something we can do to help, um, that that's what we're supposed to do. My grandmother passed when I was in, in the seventh grade. My mom passed. I actually missed a lot of school staying home, taking care of her. Like I said, there was no father figure around the house, and I was the only uh, man, I guess, so I had to just step up. So we were fortunate enough that God had us there in his life to help him. But with that help also, we had to get him in school. We had to bring him into our lives and our family and make him a part of us. The Swillings adopted Bruce, and he became the sixth member of their family. They enrolled him at Brother Martin High School with their other son, Trey. <laughs> awesome. It's been really awesome. Bruce has worked incredibly hard. If you could see where Bruce came from and where Bruce is now, it, it is an amazing story. You have to have good grades, especially in this house. You, you can't bring home a C in this house, and you will get in trouble, and it will be on you. Family, faith, and education hold high priority in the Swilling household, and football, once again, has become very exciting. I'm enjoying it. Hey, man, I wake up Friday morning, I'm ready to play. I'm not worried about work. I'm so excited to go see them play. And I like the tailgating. I have a good group of friends, and we have a great time before the game. It's been really renewed for me to be able to enjoy the game. All in, baby. Ready, go, game time. There are now two Swilling boys playing for the Brother Martin varsity football team. Trey Swilling is a starting cornerback, and Bruce Jordan Swilling is one of the most sought after recruits in the country. He runs like a warrior. You can tell that he has a purpose. By the time he graduates next year, he's gonna leave here being one of the best running backs of all time to leave the state of Louisiana. In 10 games this season, Bruce had over 2,000 total yards from scrimmage and scored 32 touchdowns. Well, this is the two, two and a half weeks of mail so far since. From uh, colleges, uh, letters from LSU, Notre Dame, Michigan, Miami, Alabama, Florida State, Florida, a lot of schools. But this is only like two and a half weeks. If you don't want to be stopped, no one will stop you. No one wants to stop me, and I will not be stopped. Are you tired? We'll be joking around and he'll be like, huh, better check my credentials. And I'll just look at him and be like laughing. When I need to, I can carry him in the film room and show him a little film. <laughs> I got enough film to show him. Pat Swilling just came right around left tackle. And my thing is to try to give him a little piece of me that maybe can help them grow. There's a lot of kids out there that need help. But um, I'm thankful, and I think we all are thankful to have him in our life and we're doing what we're supposed to do. And that's being parents to all four of our kids.